we are excited to have Patrick McMahon with us today. He will share a carousel of his amazing and unique adoption Hallmark cards with us. Patrick's primary medium is photography. He has a diverse background in art, music, writing, and engineering. His photography has been exhibited nationally in solo and group shows and has conducted expressive arts seminars throughout the United States. His published book, Becoming Patrick, You Must Read, is a memoir about adoption. Photography makes him brave. Photography makes him free. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, with us. it's great to be here. Great to be here. Please share with us how these cards came about. I guess I've been active in this field for about 20, 25 years, and uh, I started going to support group meetings probably back in about 97 at Cub meetings. I heard many, many stories of people who were looking for greeting cards for certain situations in the adoption triad. I would hear story after story about, oh, I went to the store and I couldn't find any kind of a card that I could send to my birth mother on, on Mother's Day or uh, a birth mother would say, I, I couldn't find anything that seemed appropriate for my daughter on her birthday or even just for a Christmas card. Or uh, I think when I started hearing a couple of times people actually saying, I just stood there and cried at the card rack because uh, it was none of these cards applied to me. And it just made it even more accentuated how uh, different the situation is and how we, you know, we, we don't fit in to this mainstream uh, way of communicating. So I just started developing some of these cards with, with my images and started writing sentiments. I think I started with about 30 different cards and over the years expanded it to about 70. Got a really good response. I sold, I think I've sold thousands of these cards. Yeah, it was very, very gratifying. And I would get all kinds of amazing feedback, sometimes just from somebody who bought one single card that was the right card for them at that moment. And it meant so much to them. Mm -hmm. And they would tell me that. And I would, that was just really moving to me. It really was a labor of love. I printed and produced and mailed every card myself um, on my printer at home, uh, cut them, folded them. That's pretty much how they came about. I also did a calendar for about six or seven years, Touch by Adoption calendar. Yeah, and the cards have been sold all over the United States, Canada, Ireland, England, Australia. So I'm just very happy that they made some sort of impact. It was a little story about how well into my reunion, I met an aunt of mine, who was my birth father's sister, who brought out all this stuff of her mother's, my grandmother's, who had, who had been deceased for a long time. And what she showed me was these greeting cards that she had written to all of her children over the years, birthday cards and that sort of thing. And she had actually written all the poetry, rhyming four line stanzas of poetry for each card, and not just one or two stanzas. Some of them were eight or 10 stanzas going onto the back of the card. And so I thought, oh, wow. <laughs> so I guess I come by the, uh, you know, the greeting card instinct genetically in some ways. My birth father was also a writer. He didn't do greeting cards, but he wrote many things also. So that's kind of where I thought yeah. that's directly where it comes from, I guess. Yeah, your ghost kingdom of talents. Yeah, right, right. right. You're always discovering those things. Okay, the day you came into our lives will always be a celebration. Thank you for being my mother and understanding I have another. Happy Mother's Day. No matter our paths, your footprint leaves its mark on me. Happy Father's Day. To my brother, we grew up with different casts of characters. Now we can share the stage. Have a happy birthday. To my first father, thanks for adding to the song of my clan. Happy birthday. To my daughter, none of your birthdays have ever been forgotten. I'm overjoyed to share all my best wishes for this one now. Happy birthday. To my first mother, no matter our paths, it's nice to know we are in the same patch now. Have a wonderful birthday. 
to my sister. The years we missed were in black and white. Now we can celebrate in living color. Happy birthday. Congratulations on reconnecting with your roots. May it all bloom beautifully. Congratulations on your new family. May you thrive and be everything you want to be. To my first father, glad to be exploring new frontiers with you. Happy Father's Day. When the cat gets out of the bag, celebrate. Happy holidays. That was my cat. <laughs> Holiday spirit radiates near and far. Have a bright season. Hope you have a joyous and animated holiday season. No strings attached. Reunion runs hot and cold and everywhere in between. The holiday family tree has room for everyone. To my first mother, I'm blooming glad you're in my life now. Happy Mother's Day. I really liked the one about no strings attached because uh, a lot of the cards are, are, are designed to perhaps keep people in touch who are doing the dance of communication and maybe not responding or you know, responding just a little. So, uh, and I think that's what I heard in the meetings a lot about, you know, it's like, oh, this person's not responding to me. What should I do? And we always say, well, send them a card once in a while. Just let them know you're not going away. So I really tried to create those kind of cards to kind of keep things rolling. On birth Mother's Day, I want you to know I am always here. To my first mother, life is richer with you in it. Have a happy birthday. To my son, in my movie, you've always been a star. Have a happy birthday. To my sister, we missed the sibling rivalry stage. Let's not miss any more. Happy birthday. The loss of a parent known only for a time leaves heart and soul heavy and grieving. Know I am thinking of you and wishing you well. The sun will rise again. When I look in the mirror, I see a reflection that includes you. Having two families gets complex. I sometimes feel a little beside myself. Shifting sands, changing tides, coat the core of solid ties. Adopted person without access to original birth certificate. And thank you for all you've done to plant the roots of who I am. Though not the one who raised me, you gave me life. On birth mother's day, you're in my heart and I'm glad you're in my life again. Outlet, whenever you need one, I am here. The day we reconnected will forever be a celebration. May each coming year continue to enrich our lives. Happy reunion anniversary. I recognize myself in you. Thinking of you brightens my day. Thank you for finding me. Glad to be part of the fold. So moving. You give our heart the words. Wow. That's what I tried to do. At least put, you know, put a few things into words that people have a hard time with. So if someone wanted a card, maybe they could email you and order one? They could email me. <laughs> so thank you, Patrick, for being here, taking time out of your day to be with us.